Hey, hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls and slayers of all ages, and welcome back to Digimon Digital Card Battle. I'm your host, as always, Negoskilla, Scudderhawk, or Doggoskilla, depending on where you found me. And you know, it was getting a little hot in there. Let's go to the jungle. Uh, here, obviously, it's a jungle. We're going to be getting a lot of nature cards. Nature cards are nice because they usually have a high DP, so you can uh, just dump them into your evolution points, and you usually get 20 plus, 20 to 30, I think, is the normal. But uh, it's it's great for digivolving quickly. Their stats are usually mediocre. They're not great. They're not bad, but they digivolve really fast. So that's what's going to be our big problem in this. But as you guys see in the last episode, we got something new, something spicy. We got a goddamn Brachiosaurus. <laughs> we got Brachiomon. He's hopefully going to be a big help in our deck. And we also got a few other little, uh, little things in our deck to just screw with people a bit. So hopefully, it's still called the yellow deck. It's pretty much all blue now. But, uh... Yeah, there's going to be a lot of evolution in this, for, for this, like, he's going to be, put a guy out, drop him, with full power. Like, it's going to be so annoying the whole time. Yeah, Palmon, alright, drops that, 30, okay, Digivolve. He got significantly weaker by Digivolving from, uh, what were you? I don't remember. He got weaker, like, a lot weaker, but... Because he got so much weaker, that's going to be good for us. Unfortunately, uh, it was play it, your, play your Digimon, put a card into the well, slot, and Digivolve immediately. So that's going to be a bit of a pain, but I think I think we can deal with it. I don't even think he he might have he might have an ultimate in his deck somewhere. So. That could be annoying. I know that there are some people in this in this gym that have uh, ultimates. That's your plan, huh? Okay. So as you can see, uh, something that you shouldn't do is you can just play a champion or higher without having to digivolve it first. It's cool. You got a big guy out. But my little guy is at full health, and your big guy lost a lot of his stats to get to being out faster. So, like, my guy, 1200 health. He's tanky. But if I would have just summoned him, he would not be tanky. He would be squish-tastic. He would be sad. Jamming support. Okay, his support doesn't do anything anyway, it's fine. But, uh, yeah, this is the kind of thing that we're, there, we're gonna see a lot of really quick evolutions that leave a lot to be desired. Like, Ninjamon is much better. It's 4400 base, it's got a first attack, it's got 650 HP, which isn't bad inherently. But, uh, they're just gonna be evol evolving just quickly, so there's not a whole lot to worry about in terms of their damage. I wish I could get Brachiomon out, but the only way I'm doing that is if I Snow Barrier twice and he uses his X. So... Or, yeah, I guess it's Triangle too. Just any, anything but his circle, which is not gonna happen. It's not consistent, but there's our Brachiosaurus. He's big, he's got a long neck, and he's really tanky. Hey, we got an Ice Mon. That's new. That's something for our uh, definitely yellow deck. Our definitely still a rare deck. It's rare because we have an Armadillo and then a bunch of water stuff. It's the rarest thing about it. <sighs> Next we get to fight Ninjamon. He's... 
still keep Digivolves hella fast. That's this entire area is just how fast can I Digivolve? One card combo. Bam, evolution. His deck is called the Switching Deck, so he's gonna do a lot of, uh, if he Digivolves, he's gonna swap his Digimon to something else, or just swap his Digimon to something else randomly. I want to keep that, because I know it'll screw with his deck. And Gatsumon's not super rough to worry about. Cool, you attack first. Let me mill some of your stuff. You're not doing as much damage as I am, and I have more health. And I got rid of some of your Ninjamon, that's good. <laughs> this is where it gets rough. I'm going to be using Stun Bubble because I know that that is the best choice. Ah, yes. Make yourself attack first. Something else about green. Sometimes they, they, they have quite a few cards, not as many as I you think, but quite a few that are like, attack first! Mmm, so close to making that a thing. Actually, if I survive his turn, or if I get another blue, I actually do get to summon uh, Blue Marimon. Okay. There's a possibility I could still do something here. Digi default crap. Uh, oh, actually, no, that's fine, because now you can't kill me. Like, unfortunately, you have a sh actual Foctillion HP, but. You can't kill me anymore, and that's good, and you can kill me now. I forgot a Lekmon was a thing. Not gonna lie. I completely forgot a Lekmon was a thing in every possible regard. But here's the thing, we're only using Rockmon to dump his cards. We are not going to be using his, him as an actual play because Armadillomon is just stronger. Uh, 410 is quite a bit. We'll use Hard Brick. We'll use our X. Ooh, using your triangle, huh? That's a. Interesting play. Let's see how it works out for you. I wish I didn't have to drop you, but I do and it makes me sad. Diamond Shell, please give me something that boosts my attack points at all. Uh, it's not what I was going for. But I'm glad that it's out so I can actually get Marimon, I guess. Did you devolve? <sighs> 1400 health got Sumon, and now I have no ultimates. No! You know what? I'm not gonna keep that, because I would like to be able to. Are you kidding me? <laughs> what is this game? Okay, Gabumon. I guess. Like, what? You got a lot of health. We'll, we'll save you for now. God, I am a sad boy. Can't do anything with that. Shit. Well, he's not doing any damage. That's fun. Wasn't really doing much anyway, but. <laughs> Hidden punch. I don't know what we can do to win this. Yeah, Gizamon's not doing anything in this. I feel like if this game came back, 
like they did a remake. Um, they would probably, I want to say, make their, like, here's a trophy, and the trophy is, like, uh, have a stupid amount of DP at one time, or something stupid like that, which is totally doable. Like, fill your DP slot or something, I don't know. What does that do? Uh, Mutant Digimon, okay. You can just go to a different phase of that Digimon. Like a different champion, if it's a champion or whatever. This is so unus un unnecessary. I am so dead. I might as well just toss you. Because that card doesn't do anything. Three. Shit. She's got a Kokotorimon. Okay. Alright. It's it's my Shellmon versus your Tentomon. Let's see who wins. God, I hope it's me. <laughs> Sweet God, do I hope it's me. I don't know if I can win, like, uh, what, what's gonna happen with this, because, like, if he keeps doing this, awesome! If he swaps using his X, I'm taking damage and I can't do anything about it. I don't know what'll happen, uh, if, if fuck, uh, I don't know what'll happen if we, like, have a tie. Like if, if if I have two wins and he has two wins, what what happens? I'm just gonna use this to get it out of my goddamn hand. I'm just gonna do this because I think he's because <laughs> if he uses his circle, I'm dead. Mm. I can do it. I can do it. I can do it! Spin Shatter! Let's go! <laughs> this stupid switching deck, man! Why is this what's gonna get me? Okay, I win with 390 health. His attack would have done a 380. So I win. Yeah? Okay, yeah, I win because my Digimon was still out. <sighs> that was hard. Why was that such a difficult duel? There was no reason for that to be that difficult. It just was, because of reasons. Oh. Vidramon. He has ultimates. I know that for sure. And then I think the person after him is spoiler from Digimon 02 back in like 2003 or something. Wormmon, Ken's Digimon. There's an ultimate right up in the business. Really? That's a 40 car? Yeah, that's a 40. That's a big boy. I'm really worried about that, because usually if it costs 40, it's, uh, scary or not. Or you're gonna recover health by a hundred and boost it, whatever, I'm just gonna use my, my, my fucking, my guy and, wow, you're only gonna do 100 damage to me. I'm going to do 350 to you. You regain 100 just so that you could be even when I attack you next. Unless you get a ch yeah, you didn't get a champion. This will exactly be enough to kill you. I'm not even gonna use something. Come on, Vijumon, just get slapped right in the pants. Something I really hope I get. I don't. 
I don't even know when I would get it, but something I hope I get uh, in this run is Garurumon. Garurumon. Because there are two versions of Garurumon. Garurumon, G A R U. Whatever. And G U R U. If it's G A, then. It's, a, it's an ice type. If it's G U. It's darkness. I want GA, and if I can get that, that'd be amazing. That'd be such a good, big help for me. You know what, I'm just gonna send you away. And then use Hidden Punch, because if I don't, he's going to kill me. And you know what? I'm gonna be cheeky, and use this. He gets first attack. But I made him unable to digivolve. Alright. <clears throat> now I think there's a way for me to win this, depending on what he uses. The triangle, I s everything sucks, but it's not, so everything's great. I think I can actually do stuff. I think I might be good to go. Alright. Alright, alright. We're gonna digivolve to this normally, and then we're gonna use the speed digivolution to get us to the next phase. I'm having... I'm getting some good vibes here, my guy. I'm getting some good vibes. You might be gaining 300, but I'm hitting you for more than you gain, my dude. You're at 340, I'm at 370 damage. Well, yeah, you hit first, but I hit harder. If you can't do 780 damage to me uh, in this turn, which unfortunately I think he is totally capable of doing, because that's a stupid thing. Oh no, he can't. Never mind. I'm good. I'm Gucci fan. We both use circle, and his circle is boosted. So the only tech was changed was his. And he gets 600. I lose a bunch of power, but I gain a bunch of health. And then I get to speed Digivolve to Brachiomon. I'm stoked about that. Okay, let's get our Bronchiosaurus out. Yeah, that's a lot of health. That is what we in the biz call a shit ton of health. I don't know what business it is, but that's a lot of health. He gains 100 in all of the stats, and I do 600, and still have a approximate ass load of HP even after he hits me. Because I have a dinosaur. Holy fluffing crap, it's a dinosaur. Jesus Christ, what the duck? So if he uses, yeah, cross. Cross hitter doesn't really matter, because I'm not using X, I'm using circle. So yeah, GG. My ultimate is stronger than you because it has 2300 health. Seems fine. Seems fine. Usually that would have actually been a really difficult duel, but 2300 health is a big number. <laughs> it doesn't seem that big when you say it out loud or you've played other games, but at this it's a lot. It's a lot of health. Even when it's a champion, like he can do 500, but like. 23 is a big number. Not brought to you by 23 and me. That'd be neat. I want a sponsor. I want a sponsor and I'm not going to get one. If only because I don't have enough viewers or enough subs to get a sponsor. But if anyone wants to sponsor me, feel free to. Feel free to send me a, send me an email or something talk about it, because that'd be nice. It's not necessary, but it would be cool. That's a stupid hand that I'm not keeping. 
That does that that's a hand that doesn't do anything. Your darkness so oh, I guess I'll put Gizamon out. Yeah, he's green black. You Okay. I don't know why you didn't pick Kunamon, because he's capable of digivolving, but sure. That's what you want to do, then that's what you want to do. I'm not going to take damage from you this turn, and I'm going to do quite a bit. Fight me. I really want to turn into that, because Hyogamon is great. And Shellmon is not great. It would make sense for Otamamon to turn into Shellmon. Not gonna... Not gonna negate that fact, but it's... Not that good. This is some really good music, though. Like, I may have something against, um... How he's playing, but the music is great. I do want to use a support card, because if he does something creepy, then that's bad. Please lower his circle. He's not using his circle. So I'm actually fine. I'm sad that I got Devimon, because Ace Devimon is actually really cool. But hey, you do what you do. What we do is Digivolve to Hyogamon. And then Icy Cudgel. <clears throat> we can't really use the uh, the warp digivolve because okay, we're both using triangle. You're still going to die. Yeah, that was Gururumon. G U R U. So it's a darkness type, and then G A R U is a not a darkness type. It's um uh ice digivolve. Do. <laughs> Crap. Uh, Devidramon is scary because Devidramon is 520 attack. It has no effects, but that's still creepy as shit. Uh, crap. I have a counter, but that doesn't matter because he's just hitting me with his axe. And he hits so bloody hard. You know what? I'm just going to do this. Screw that entire hand. That's better, I guess. God. Good lord. Um, I'm pretty sure I can only, if I don't use Otamamon, I'm just gonna die. Even with Otamamon, I'm just in a bad way, because he's gonna hit me so friggin' hard. And the next turn, he can just do it again. Okay, I have an idea. It isn't good. But it might help because if I'm using a counter it doesn't matter how much attack I lose because I'm using a counter and he's not even using that I'm dead my Hyogamon is being defeated oh boy what a great hand of things I can't use two ultimates Fantastic. I hate everything. I don't want to use either of them because they're actually both good cards. Precious Flame. God, I... This, I guess. I don't know. 780? I'm sorry, what? I'm sorry, what? What do you mean, 708? Ah, shit. Yeah, you see, he goes from 2300 to 570. You're stronger. I'm sad. On my sad. I don't even know. 
Like, I'm pretty sure I just die. What do you even do, Takunamon? Oh, it's if opponent's specialty is rare! I see! I'm filled with hate! I'm glad my specialty is not rare! But I'm pretty sure I'm dead. Wait, no, Brachiomon is circle. This might save me. It's gonna save me. It saved me. My Brachiosaurus saved me a second duel in a row. You beautiful bastard. You glorious dinosaur, you. It's for the mother fluffing T Rex. The Brachiosaurus is where it's at. Got a Tyrannosaurus. Yeah, I got a Tyrannomon, a T-Rex. But like, I'm using a um a rare water deck, mostly water. Just because of it's different. Oh god. <laughs> that was so rough. Oh, that was so difficult to deal with. <clears throat> Battle Cafe. Here's something funny for you. So I had always thought when he says um one sec uh da, 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 where the hell is it? Come on. Uh, you got the passcode to Igloo City. This is about all I can give you right now. Be very careful. Expect the unexpected in the other city. Also, be sure to come back to the arena again, okay? Sure, I'll challenge you again, and I'm gonna win. I knew you'd say that. I don't think it'll be easy as the last battle. I hope you. Okay, so there's one area, I don't know if it was that one, if it's this one or if it's a different one, but someone's like, hey, you fight me again, and uh, we'll see how it goes. I, I, don't know, I don't know if it's if it's him or if it's uh, the next zone, but one of them you have to, uh, you, you don't have to do the entire tournament again, you can just slap him in the face. I don't know if it's this one though, so I'm just gonna do the whole tournament again and then we'll end it. End the video for this one. And then we'll do uh, Igloo City next time. Oh god damn it, he's got Lilymon. Uh, Lilymon is a pain in the butt. Cause she's she gives a decent amount of everything. Yeah, she gives 30 digital, uh, evolution points. She can give you 200 health. She's just good. It's such a pain. Such a pain. Attack change. Hey. Shellmon was useful. Weird. Oh crap. Not good! Not good at all! Really bad, actually. He's got two ultimates in his hand. Lilymon and Mega Kabuterimon. Neither of which are things I want to see. At all. Um, in this match, at least. Okay, we're gonna Digivolve you, because Hyogamon is just better than uh, Ice Nevimon in this case. And I'm going to have to do a lot of praying, because I don't think I can kill you in one shot. I don't think that does anything. It does nothing. Please be something that helps me kill him in one shot. It's not something that helps me kill him in one shot. It's actually something that I could have used later when I get a Mega. Or an ultimate in my hand. 
Mangas aren't actually a thing in this game. Son of a bork. I wish I could change you to fire so that I could potentially kill you in one hit. Fortunately, I can't do that, so I'm probably going to die and be sad. Please give me something, anything. That's something. It's also anything. God, I need this to kill you. This will double mine. Uh, and make your zero. And Kunamon is a pain in my ass. Well, I mean, you're not doing anything with this. I'm still doing 720, though. That's good. Um... I'm so worried about this, because, like, if Lilymon does something useful, I'm dead. <laughs> She's healing again, and I can't... I don't know what to do about it. Because if she hits me with that 650, it hurts. You know what, I'm just going to drop his hand. The whole bloody thing. And get a Bronco Radius. It's your boy. Don't ever actually use Bronco Radius, he's a really bad card in Yu Gi Oh! Yu Gi Oh! A Bronco Radius is terrible for a Dino deck. Unless you can like cheese it out somehow, then it's fine I guess, but otherwise it's not. Bronchio Bobo! This is not going to feel good! That's another ultimate, you can actually do things! Support jammed and all of your attacks are weaker, that's fine. You only do 170 instead of killing me, that's good. Ultimate level win! We both battled it out until we got to the ultimate level. And then... I became the big booty boy. Yeah, that's an easy evolution. I don't know where if, uh, where my warp digivolve is. That'd probably be something to be, that would be worth knowing. Well, you're only doing 170, and I gained 200, so I still gained a little bit. Still went plus 30 or something, so that's not bad. Yeah, we're gonna drop Armadillo. Oh, this is spooky. Support jamming, is that all that does? Oh, and own attack by attack. Yeah, go for it. Make yourself weaker. 120, huh? 120, which you're gonna attack me with. Alright. If, uh, you say so, my guy. I honestly think that was a bad play. Because Tentomon is stronger than Jamojimon. And, uh, the cactus is just a better choice because it's just stronger than Jamojimon. Jamojimon is bad, that's what I'm getting at. Jamojimon is bad. <laughs> Jamojimon is really not good for this scenario. Um, nothing about him is a good plan. You know what, I'm just gonna check. Uh, yeah, no, that was 30 as well, and it's just better in every way, so I don't really know what happened there. So, now you die. This is going to be a little bit of a longer episode, just because uh, I want to be able to deal with- I want to deal with Vidramon. Oh, we got a light to our Akamon, that's really useful. I want to deal with Vidramon, because he's still- it's still technically part of this zone. And I'm apparently doing this uh, video per zone, so I'd like to beat the uh, owner of this zone properly. 
though I also think that I could have done this a lot easier and not had to go through the entire tournament. I don't know though. I'm not uh, I'm not the most intellectual of person when it for people when it comes to remembering things. So for all I know, I'm very very wrong, or I'm very very right. Okay, I'm losing an ultimate already. Nice. I'm already down one of my big guys. Alright. Like, 200 health is good, but 300 power is better. Oh, neat! I don't need Agumon right now. I just kill you. Cool. Cool. Cool, first attack. I hit you just harder. 10 points harder than you have health. Because you decided that was what you wanted to do with your day. Not gonna say it was a good plan. Not gonna say it was a bad plan. Just gonna say it was not the plan. Alright. Frost Claw. This seems to be going so much easier than it did last time. Holy crap. We're using your, your circle. I'm using mine too, unfortunately. There's my Pronicosaurus. I can heal up or I can just kill you. It depends on what you do. You're digivolving. Oh. You poor stupid boy. Kill? Lethal? 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 That's a Magic the Gathering term for anyone who's like, the fuck do you mean lethal? The uh, Magic the Gathering lethal is when you swing for game. And that is what I did. I swung and I got game. There's some good green guys, especially a Lekmon who's gonna be so powerful in our next zone. Like I might actually be swapping out one of my Ice Devimon or Agumon, depending on how many I end up with. If I end up with at least two, swapping out Ice Devimon and Agumon. But uh, a thing to note, if anyone decides to play this, even though it's 2019 and this game is not even remotely close to from this generation. If everyone decides to play this, whether you're going back and playing it on the original PS1, or if you're crazy and playing it more the way I am, which is totally fine, do you? We're all friends here, but uh... Regardless of how, if you guys decide you want to go back and play this game, I highly recommend for your first playthrough to play as Vimon. You don't have to. Vimon and Hawkmon are both really good. Don't play as Armadillomon though, he's like the hard mode. But something to note, you're not done an area until you get a special card. So yeah, we got the key card. But, technically, we're not done the zone until we get the an ultimate. Because this is a new zone, and the game has taught us so far that new zone, you get an ultimate. So that's what you look for. If you go to a place that's new, look for an ultimate. That's how you know if you're done. So, that's something fun to know for people. It's how you find out if you're done the zone or not. Because you could very well just go in and be like, hey, I, I got the code, I'm leaving. But you you're down on ultimate, which is it's just a pain in the butt. 
Well, I'm not going to be turning into that, unfortunately. However, I have a Bronchiosaurus that I can become now. And he's fluffing strong. And he, you know, hits like a truck. He has all the health points and he hits like a truck. I don't really need to use that yet, because it's not super relevant at the moment. Misfire, that's fine. Gunamon, I still kill it because 400... And then when he gets a rookie out, if he can't immediately devolve the champion, then I use it. I'm going to use Hammerhead because there's a chance he can screw with me and use his X. You are now rare and can no longer digivolve. You are, however, going to be doing an okay amount of damage to me, which is a pain. Uh, I kind of want to build up so that I can get Hyogamon out if somehow Barakiomon dies. However, I don't think he will be dying anytime soon because he's a beast. It's just my personal ideal about this, but I'm pretty sure my giant dinosaur is not going to die to any of his little bugs. That, however, is a problem. Because he has that stupid card. He's not using it, so I kind of wasted this. I could have used this opportunity to kill him. Or at least down him 300 health. Or 600 health. Unfortunately, I didn't do that. Fuck you, Bubble! I will get you! And your little cat dog, too. I don't think I have another one. So I should be good. Okay. Be destroyed. Just enough attack to win. It's actually a perfect KO, because it also only had 600 health to begin with. V for victory, even though you very much so did not claim it. Ooh, 150 extra health to one. Another, there's the other Electmon. If opponent's specialty is ice, gain 300 attack. Congratulations on winning! You got a green pack. Which is great. It gave me a Vidramon, which is pretty nice. Bone level is ultimate, own attack is double. That's really good, considering how fast I get to all of them and how consistently. And a Waru Seedramon, which is a new ultimate. Its its health points are a little strange, but everything else about him is actually pretty good. And he has a jamming effect. So, there's our third ultimate. All right. If it is a hot day for you. You should definitely get yourself a frost or slurpy ice cream, whatever. Something cold, and if you're su feeling super chill, then definitely Arctic Blizzard the heck out of that like button. Freeze it, shatter it, all that good stuff. And, uh... Actually, it's better to take out another one of these for this. And, um, if by chance you are not subscribed to me yet, you should, I definitely recommend doing that. You get to be informed on whenever any of my content comes out, which is always fun. And you can do that for YouTube. You can also follow on Twitch to learn whatever new things come out for Twitch. Whether it be a stream or... No, it's probably just going to be a stream, I'm going to be honest. Um, but you, you can learn when streams are. You can... Be informed when... We go live in any capacity. It's really nice to join the Discord. You, you're always put up to speed. Um, 
Check out all the links in the description below to Facebook, Patreon, the Discord, and the Twitch. You can support us on Twitch by subscribing, Patreon by pledging however much you can. If you can't, that's fine. You can also support us by joining the Discord, promoting the channel. Maybe you, you're an artist, you can draw some fan art, um, like of interesting things that happen throughout the streams or videos, or just draw what you think a caricature of me would look like. Anyway, hope everybody enjoyed. To all those who subscribe, welcome to the Arctic Wolves. If you haven't subscribed yet, definitely join the Arctic Wolves. And we will see you guys in the next one. Good night, and good luck.